every UAAP victory is a momento story of its own. At ang sunod-sunod na pagkakapanalo ng championship ay manatawag nating chapter of greatness. When, defend, repeat. Malaking hamon at matamis na tagumpay para sa isang koponan ang paulit-ulit depensahan ang corona para sa minamahal nilang universidad. Sometimes, the most powerful team is not the tallest team. Sometimes, it is not even uh, the best team available, but they play at the right time. They click at the right time as a very strong team, perhaps strong enough to become champion. University of the East ang muling nagpamalas ng total domination sa fencing noong season 79. For the fifth straight year, kampiyon sila sa men's, women's, at maging juniors division ng UAP. Kaya tinatawag ng fencing royalty ng Liga. Agi naman akong nakaplano talaga. Ito nga yung era namin na to na five straight years na four, four divisions ay nakukuha namin. Is talagang plinano to. And the coach has a lot to do with that. Because the coach can tell them what to do. And when they execute what the coach wants, then... That is a very strong lineup. Isa sa mga sumubok at kalaunan ay nagpalakas pa sa UE fencing ang kanilang pagkatalo noong 2004 contra FEU. Tinawag na beginning of the end ang pagkatalo. Comradeweight na ang champion fencer ng UE noon. So ngayon, ginawa ko, nag-recruit ako ng mga bangko sa mga volleyball, sa softball, sa taekwondo. Sinilek ko yun, malalakas na yung katawan eh. So, ginawa namin, tinuruan namin skill. Talaga nag-training kami. Ang focus lang namin, two years pa nga dapat eh. Tapos, yung unang taon ko as coaching sa UE, nakuha na agad namin yung men and women. Kahit ako, hindi ako makapaniwala. At last season, nakuha ng UE ang 10 peak sa women's division at 5 peak sa men's division. It's the FEU Lady Tamaraws versus the USC Tigerses. Matinding magkaribal ang USC at FEU women's volleyball teams noong early years ng UAAP. Napanagili ang corona sa Espanya sa loob ng pitong taon mula season 47 hanggang 53. Fast forward to the decade kung kailan mas maraming Pilipino na ang nakakapanood ng UAAP volleyball. Easy over and the quick. In the last decade where we saw more televised volleyball games than ever before and we take into account the long history between Ateneo and La Salle. Solid jump serve. It spiced up the rivalry that pushed aside the traditional rivalry that people are accustomed to. Sa pagpasok ng Final Four era, nagsimula nang gumawa ng marka ang De La Salle Lady Spikers. May sampung championship titles na ang Lady Spikers. Kabilang ang dalawang three-peats mula season 66 hanggang season 68 at noong season 73 hanggang season 75. And LaSalle does it! The championship goes to them! Nang napalaluna ng Ateneo ang kanilang pinakaunang championship noong 2014, oh, Ateneo has done it! Naging mas mainit ang bakbakan sa court sa tuwing berde at bughaw ang magaharap. Morente. Yeah. People love winners. Pag may nananalo, sisilipin. Saan nanalo? Ba't nanalo? Then they try to understand. Then they will eventually follow. So, uh, nagkaroon ng uh, rivalry, which people always love. Recovery. Oh! Kiana. And there we go! Kiana. Nabawi ng lasal ang corona sa Ateneo noong season 78. Third night championship. Morado, binigay kay Maraginot. It goes long. And 
At sinunda ng isa pang pinaghirapang kampiyonato noong Season 79. Unbelievable. Heidi Bongas and Heidi Resagun. And Saboba drills it. Oh, and over the fence. The greatest champions, schools, especially yung mga repeat champions, yung mga nag-repeat, yung mga umuulit na nananalo. I think it boils down to teamwork. At eto na. And that is out and over the fence. Pagdating sa softball, ang mga Falcons ng San Marcelino ang angat ngayon dahil sa kanilang great winning streak. Mula Season 60, inuwi ng Adams ng Lady Falcons ang 16 out of the 20 championships. At lalong nagmarka sa sport dahil sa nakuhang dalawang 4B. Sa atin, delivering. Pinaka-memorable din sa Adams ng Lady Falcons ang makasaysayang 73 game winning streak Mula 2010 hanggang 2016. Palma sends that one high into the sky. Pasa, did she get it? Yes, she did! Nung una, hindi ko siya iniisip eh. Basta kami, naglalaro lang kami na naglalaro and hanggang kaya namin ipanali yung game. After one season, then eto na uli yung second season, may nagtatanong ng, ng mga press sa akin. O nalalaman mo ba na wala ka, hindi ka pa natatalo, gano'n? So parang doon pumapasok ngayon yung o oh, nga, no? hindi pa kami natatalo. Tinudo ka ng UST ang mahabang winning streak. Malungkot ang lahat kasi naputol na pero sabi ko nga sa kanila, what happens? 73 is 73. Experience here in the UAP. Center is calling mine and she does it. That's and it. that will end the UAP softball final. A setback turned into a comeback. Patuloy na namayagpag ang Adamson softball team. Hawak ang 70 mula season 73 hanggang season 79. Sa first expansion ng UAAP nang sinimula ng UE Red Warriors ang kanilang pinakamahabang championship streak, Laging pag-championship sila ng FEU or sila ng UST. Wala nang iba yatang makaka-put up a candle to them in terms of their dominance at that time. Pinangunahan ni Coach Baby Dalupan ang makasaysayang 7 feet taong 1965 hanggang 1972. 36 years later, ang mga agila ng Katipuna naman ang naghari sa hardcore. They were being prepared for a momentous winning streak under the leadership of Coach Norman Black. First thing I wanted to do was to establish a strong recruiting program. The following year, we were able to recruit five really, really good players led by um, Ryan Bonafe and, and Nico Salva and, and some of the other guys who came in that year. And those five guys combined with Chris Chu and Rabbi Husseini and some of the veterans we had at that time really started to form a very, very strong team. He's seconds away. Sa ikatlong taon ni Coach Norman sa Ateneo, nakamit ang Blue Eagles ang championship na nagsilbing gasolina sa mga susunod pang seasons. Well, the one thing about winning is this. Um, the more you win, the more they want you to win. So it becomes a never-ending process. So while we really had to walk up a very steep hill just to win the first championship in 2008. Bacalao, able to put it in. Coach Norman Black celebrating his second championship ring here in the U.S. As soon as we won that one, everybody was starting to yell back to back. The Manila Blue Eagles. And then after that, it was three-peat. Amos is already in the middle of the paint. The three points. Oh! You know, it just continued and continued. And, and Ateneo will win their fourth straight championship under Coach Norman Black. Uh, eventually, everybody wanted us to win the fifth championship, which was my last year at Ateneo coaching. Ravenna gets the step, steps back. Oh, that is huge. And Ateneo wins its fifth straight title. It's just a special feeling. I'm really happy for the players. That's what this is all about anyway. It's about the players and 
They really worked very, very hard for it, and I'm glad they were able to accomplish it. The Ateneo de Manila University Blue Eagles. To Southeast Asian Games in Singapore, she retained the Sanctuary Dash crown. Ang king bilis at ligsi ang baon ng mga FEU Tamaraos tuwing sumusugod sa labanan ng track and field. Bukod sa pagiging winningest team sa sport na ito, FEU din ang may hawak si pinakamahabang winning streak. 11 peak sa women's division mula season 66 hanggang season 76. FEU athletics program ang um, was uh, shaped by Rosito Andaya. And because of his mindset, and because he wanted to turn the athlete into the best possible national athlete, they would be successful. Lydia Di Vega. Isa sa mga nagtaas ng bandera ng FEU sa UAAP, ang legendary athlete na si Lydia Di Vega. For the 200 meter run, as she had concentrated Sa FEU na nagsimula ang long jump queen na si Elma Muros. Dugong tama raw din ang nananalaytay sa Olympian na si Maristela Sunang at kina John Lee Ubas at Clinton Bautista. Nakamakailan lang ay nag-uwi ng medalya mula sa SEA Games 2017. Pag-usapang athletics kasi yung program talaga kasi ng FEU maganda sa athletics. Pag mababalita mo sa mga UAP dito, FEU talagang pinaka-dominant sa athletics. Tawag na nila may marka kung galing ka kay Andaya. Good form, you don't tie up, you have good sprinting ability, you have very good endurance, and you know when to strike. So sabi na, mas maganda din yung FIO kasi pagdating sa mga competition like UAP, uh, depending champion po sila lagi. Sina Clinton at John Lee ang dalawa sa mga atletang nag-ambag sa 7 feet na nakamit ng FEU Men's Division last season. At ang tagumpay nila sa UAAP ang lalong nagpatibay sa kanila bilang mga atletang lalaban para sa bansa. And naniniwala ako na marami pang susunod sa mga yapak natin. And I'm hoping na itong mga new generation ay mas magiging magaling kesa sa akin. Talento, tadhana, maaari ding tawaging chemistry. Ito ang nagbubuklod sa mga atletang nakakabilib ang galaw at pagpunta sa laro pag sila ay magkasama sa court. At nabukaw ang atensyon ng UAAP fans sa great tandems na nagpamalas kung ano at kung paano ang wedding combination. The UAAP being a collegiate league, it's known for the intensity of its games. It's known for pride, school pride, school spirit, all out playing, all out cheering. At ilan sa mga talagang nagpadugundong sa arena pagsabay ng tumapak sa court ay ang UAAP tandems na nagpamalas na magandang samahan at outstanding teamwork. The Ateneo de Manila Lady Eagles! Oh. Just finding a spot there. The lead down to seven. Oh, oh. and Pretendo slicing the wall and yet taking that. Phil Kainlet, Jem Ferrer, Gretchen Ho, Elise Nakachi, at Z Hervasho. Hervasho's back. Box spin. Z Hervasho. Magkakaiba man ang personalidad, nag-gel ang samahan at nakilala bilang Fab Five ng Ateneo Lady Eagles. Oh, oh. that catch is alive. Hindi lang sa court nagkaroon ng impact ang Fab Five. Naging social media darling ang lima at inaabangan ng UAP volleyball fans. Binuhay nila yung sports program, ginising nila yung D1 ng mga manonood sa Ateneo, shifting from basketball to volleyball yung, or combining both. So ito yung nag-attract ng napakaraming followers. Simula noon, every season ang sinubaybayan ang mga laban ng Fab Five. Season 75 nang maitala ang record-breaking crowd sa championship game contra Lady Spikers. To you again! Oh, Ateneo still fighting! Back set! Oh, and... and the South does it! Hindi man nila nasungkit ang minimiting championship, sila ang isa sa mga nagbigay daan sa mas malakas na suporta para sa sport. And Ateneo on their second straight finals appearance should be hardened by this experience. 
yung attention sa volleyball simula na you know maraming uh, naging fans na hindi necessarily from their school they wanted to be like them they wanted to be you know pick, had pictures with them yun. so doon naging mainstream lalim ng samahan at pagkakaibigan ang nakuha nilang tropeo mula sa sabay-sabay na pakipaglaban sa UAAP magkasabay kami sa hirap at sa ginhawa Sabay-sabay kaming umangat mula sa baba. Sinalo namin ang isa't isa sa kahinaan, sa kalakasan, sa lahat ng problema dinaanan namin. At ngayon, hindi man kami nagtagumpay sa finals ng UAAP. Lahat kami matagumpay sa buhay. Number 3, Chacha Santiago. Number 16, Team Captain, Lindsay Santiago. Super close kami. As in, okay kami. Okay yung samahan namin. Okay yung bonding namin. Inside and outside the court. Yun at yun kami ni Jaja. Sin tatag at sin tayog ng Twin Towers. Yan ang magkapatid na Dinden at Jaja Santiago. Finally she does. Isa sa tinitingalang tandem sa UAAP. Bago pa man sumabak sa collegiate level, markado na ang galing ng magkapatid sa volleyball. That early, alam mo na na magiging superstars ang dalawang yan. Jaja, drills that one in. So that tandem will always be special because they're physically gifted, one. Number two, they're really very good uh, athletes. Season 76, na maging parte ang Santiago Sisters ng iisang kuponan ang NU Lady Bulldogs. Inabangan at tinutukan ang magiging laro ng dalawa. Sa tangkad na 6-2 and 6-4, standout ang magandang performance ng dalawa. Dindin Santiago, that's good! Height is a very big factor because uh, how many players do we have that size or taller than 5'10"? Height is a very big factor, especially in spiking. And these two are very good front line. Tintin finding it and putting it away. At ang matatag na samahan bilang magkapatid ang mas nagpapaangat ng kanilang performance sa court. Bawat problema namin, napapag-usapan namin naman agad. And hindi naman umaabot sa puntong nagkakaproblema kami tapos madadala namin sa court. May magbababa ng pride para kausapin yung isa't isa. Santiago did did graduating. Maturity and understanding ayon sa magkapatid. Yan ang greatest lesson sa kanila ng UAAP. Kaya kahit isang season lang nagkasama sa isang kuponan, ito ang pinakamasayang journey ng Twin Towers. Uh, this is what we expected as Jaron Deng with the up and under move. Oh, Jaron Deng taking it away all the way for a seven-point lead. Are they brothers first or opponent second or the other way around? And now, kita do na talagang both brothers were professional. Deng. Oh, what a move by Jaron Deng! And he looks at the crowd. Brother against brother, despite being rivals. Blood will always prevail. Yan ang pinotanayan ni Jarek at Jaron Teng, kaya naman tumatak sa UAAP history ang tapata ng dalawa. As Jarek Teng able to knock it down for a... Kilala yung Teng brothers to be very respectful of each other. Kilala sila na very supportive of each other. Ang nagustuhan ko nun talaga is the fact na on the court, they were very fierce against each other. They, they were very competitive against each other. As Jaron Teng scores his sixth point, as you look at our... Magkaibang stilo ang pinakita ng dalawa sa loob ng court. What a move! I believe Jaron is the stronger athlete. Jarek is the better shooter. Yung isa is a two-guard, a shooting uh, guard. Si Jarek, si Jaron is a small forward. Si Jaron, halimaw. Uh, pro ready na yan, siguro as early as two years ago, iba yung lakas. Si Jarek naman ang very smart maglaro. Noong season 76, inabangan ng UAP fans ang pagharap ng magkapatid sa championship. Obviously, he's matched up against his brother. This is what we always want to see, the clash of the things as they call it, the people involved in the game. Dang, 
Oh, what a move by Jarek Tang! Second to shoot, yes! May mga sequences nga sa championship na parang kala mo mag-aaway pa nga eh. They were that competitive. And then, at the end of the game, it's all over, no? Pero during the heat of the battle, the heat of the moment, and wala kang alam, kunwari hindi mo sila kilala, akala mo talagang magkagalit, magkaaway. Because they both wanted to win badly for their school. Ever for the win! the three, no! Wow! And Masal wins season 76 of the UAP! Sa huli, nakamit ang kuponan na nakababatang Teng ang kampiyonato. Bittersweet moment naman ito para sa huling laro ng kanyang kuya sa UAAP. What a game by Jarek Teng! Uh, yung pag-iyakap pa nila ngayon, I think that symbolizes the respect that uh, their parents were able to build around the siblings even if they are from different ends. And they almost killed each other during the finals. Pero, di ba? That's the way it is, eh. That's the way it is, di ba? You are warriors inside the court, brothers of it. I think that was a perfect tribute uh, to the UAAP tradition wherein you leave everything on the court, no matter who you face. Jaron Tang and Jarek Tang, ladies and gentlemen. A great shooter plus a great rebounder. Ito ang naging winning equation ng isa sa pinakatumatak sa UAP tandems na naglaro para sa UE Red Warriors. 1983 na pumasok si Jericho Dinera sa kuponan. Nasa ikatlong taon na ng kanyang paglalaro sa UAP si Alan Kaydik. Si Alan Kaydik was already a big name before he started scoring in the 50s and 60s. Kumbaga, urban legend na si Alan Kaydik, maski outside of the UAP pa. Si Jerry Codinera naman, ang father ni Jerry is a legendary baseball player. It's an athletic family. Well, it just happened. They clicked and they needed a big man. And Codinera supplied them that muscle underneath. And Kai Dick, because uh, he would not have to have troubles in defense, he was freed of that duty. He would shoot the daylights out of anybody. Si Jerry will always try to get Alan Kaidik open, galing na screener. Si Jerry will always be there to get Alan Kaidik's missed attempts kasi good rebounder. Naging malaking parte sa pagdo-dominate ng UE Red Warriors noong 1984 at 1985 ang winning combination ni na Kaidik at Codinera. Para kay Alan, hindi mabubura sa history ng UAAP ang kanilang tandem. Whatever happens, naging part kami ng UAAP until now. Natutuwa nga kami dahil naalala yung mga contribution namin sa school namin. Walang kapalit ang experience ng college basketball, especially UAAP. Ronnie, magsaanok, and Benji Paras, magkaibang posisyon. They became good friends. They worked well together. They complemented each other. One made the other better. Magkaibigan at high school teammates na si na Ronnie at Benji bago pa man pumasok sa UAE. Si Benji nakatira sa San Tol. Ako sa San Juan. Sabay kami umuwi niyan. Sabay kami naglalakad pag umuulan. Wala kayong pamasahay. Nilalakad lang namin yan from, from the school. So, nabuild it yung talagang pagkakasamahan namin from high school and eventually also, he also joined us sa UP on my fourth year on his first year. Gutom na gutom sa championship ang UP Fighting Maroons na higit sa apat na dekada ng hindi nakakapag-uwi ng corona sa Dileman. Sabi yun ni Coach Jolie Pao, meron silang missing link. And yung missing link na yun was Benji Paras. Kasi what they needed was a big man to man the, the paint. First player na nakita ko yun ay hindi tumatalon masyado ng dumadang. Wala pa masyadong dumadang plate. Siya kaya na yan. Nabuo ang tandem na magsanok paras noong 1986 na nagpalakas sa UP Fighting Marines. Si Benji uh, was an answered prayer for all of us when we decided to to join UP. Wala lamang kasiguraduhan eh dahil mm, the bigger schools were also trying to lure him. Siguro talagang gusto rin niya kami tulungan. Umabot sa championship game ang UP nang ibabaw ang tandem ng magsanok paras na nagbigay ng malaking puntos sa kuponan. Muling nakamit ng UP ang inaasam na tropeyo sa UAAP basketball. UP Fighting Maroons ang naghari noong season 49. Natapos ang paglalaro sa UAAP, parehong tinengala sa professional league at makalipas ang maraming taon, naging mas matibay pa ang pagkakaibigan.
a tandem that has proven how respect and friendship unfold into greatness. It goes deeper, it goes beyond the game. It's uh, trying to help each other out. At uh, more than that, yung, yung respeto sa isa't isa na nabilb uh, because of uh, the chance to play together for over 30 years. Bawat atleta, kumaharap sa bagong laban araw-araw. Kailangan ng kakaibang lakas ng katawan, talas ng isip, at tatag ng puso para manalo. And the UAP has molded legendary athletes whose character and performance define greatness. Santos down and it's over! De La Salle is back-to-back -back champion! Here we go, folks. Ateneo with one last play. They go to Doug Kramer, Anthony! Oh, wow. Wow. What a play! Oh, what a play for Ateneo! What a play by... Coach. I think, in my opinion, a legend athletes at UAP, if you set the right examples, it's not just about winning. Here's Yap for three. Come on. James Yap picks up the heat. Here's Villanueva. And he scores! Maraming atleta ang nagpamalas ng kanilang talento at sumikat sa kasaysayan ng UAAP. Pero may mga namukod-tangi. Di lang medalya ang nakuha, kundi maging ang puso ng maraming Pilipino. Bago dumating si Samboy Lim, yun yung tinatawag nilang lumilipad, nagkakape sa ere. And Florencio dispatched right now by... Sa tindig na 5-10, lakas loob niyang dinomina ang hard court. Here is Florencio being pressed by De La Rosa. Here comes Danny, gets a pick from Coons. Nakilala siyang scorer ng powerhouse team na Crispa. At bilang unang Pinoy na nakascore ng mahigit 60 points sa isang PBA game noong 1977. Isang PBA legend at Hall of Famer. Siya ang tinaguriang original Skywalker, si Danny Florencio. He was a very heavy scorer, very prolific, very difficult to guard. Pero bago pa nakatawag pansin ang laro niya sa PBA, scoring machine na si Daredevil Danny ng koponang UST Glowing Goldies na dikitang humamon sa UAP Men's Basketball Champion na UE Red Warriors noong 1960s. Danny Florencio was a one-man wrecking crew. He can do everything. He can lay up, he can jump, he can pass. Pilo Pumarian said many times, alam mo ba kung sino yung pinakamahirap gwardyahan? Si Florencio. Isa sa mga manlalaro sa tinaguriang glory days ng Philippine basketball, lumaban siya kasama ng national team sa 1968 Summer Olympics sa Mexico at sa 1972 Munich Olympics. His shooting was really very good. Jump shot, penetration, lay up. And very, very clutch player as he showed in the 1967 ABC Championship uh, where the Philippines defeated South Korea because of him. Kung walang magbubukas ng daan, walang makakaintindi. There will always be someone that you want to emulate and really try to uh, follow in terms of achievement. An unstoppable athlete and an undefeated champion. Kailanman ay hindi nakatikim ng pagkatalo sa kanyang buong UAP career ang table tennis star at De La Salle Lady Paddler na si Ian Lariba. Bilang team captain, she led De La Salle's women's table tennis team to three championships noong season 75, 77, at 78. Three-time MVP at pinarangalang Athlete of the Year noong season 77 at 78. Nung pumasok si Ian sa Lasal, doon nag-start din talaga yung barang sumikat kami dahil sa kanya. Kasi alam mo si Ian yan, mabait, hindi, hindi mayabang na players. So, ang dami sa kanya nag-idol. Lalong napunta sa spotlight si Ian Yan noong nag-qualify siya sa 2016 Rio Olympics. Isang karangalan ito 
para sa bansa na magkaroon ng kauna-unahang female table tennis Olympian na kinatawa ng bansa para sa nasabing sport. Lariba brought table tennis back into consciousness because of her performance. Nobody ever thought that we will qualify for an Olympic birth. But then you have her who surmounted all odds. And now we just hope that she surmounts the medical odds that she's facing right now. Sa kabila ng nilalaban ng sakit, nananatiling buo ang fighting spirit ni Yan Yan. Hindi siya papatalo at mananatili siyang inspirasyon ng marami pang nangangarap na maging atleta. Siya pa yung nagpapalakas ng loob sa amin. Sinabi niya, Coach, limang kwanto, limang kimo, pero parang table tennis to, best of five. Kaya niyong puto. Valdez, nothing friendly about that swing. Wicked! I think she elevated UAP volleyball and volleyball in general. Valdez, off the block, on the point. Her killer spike stirred up a storm in the UAP. Back to Valdez, Valdez! At matapos ng pagkapanalo ng Ateneo Lady Eagles ng kanilang kauna-unahang kampiyonato noong season 76, wala nang nakapigil pa sa pagbulusok ng karera ng The Phenom na si Aliza Valdez. Aliza Valdez is a live wire on the court. She somehow dictates the flow even if she is in the defense because they know that uh, when the ball shifts to her area, she can deliver. Pero kahit nasa palad na ni Aliza ang tagumpay, walang humpay pa rin ang kanyang sipag sa training. During practices, iba talaga. I mean, doon talaga nangyayari kung, kung ano yung mga hirap, sakit, mga sakripisyong ginagawa namin. Humarap man sa maraming pagsubok, ang pagmamahal sa larong volleyball ang nagsisilbing inspirasyon ni Aliza para hindi urungan ang kahit anong laban. I really love the sport. I never, never questioned myself kung bakit ako andito. I find it parang sobrang happy place ko talaga pag naglalaro talaga ako ng volleyball. And I feel like home. Pero higit pa sa kanyang galing at sunod-sunod na mga panalo ang nagselyo sa kanyang estado bilang volleyball icon ng henerasyong ito. The way she is off the court, the way she uh, treats and relates with her fans, so... Aliza is someone who is gifted not only with uh, being a super athlete, but also yung may charm eh. Maraming magagaling, maraming bilib. Pero yung maraming hahanga, hindi lahat. Pero si Aliza, meron siyang ganong uh, special character. Grabe ito mo. Grabe ang bilis. Two-time gold medalist sa ASEAN's 100-meter dash at kinoronahang fastest woman in Asia. Hanggang ngayon, wala pa rin nakakahabol sa galing at bilis ng sprint queen of Asia na si Lydia De Vega. Lydia De Vega is number one in Asia twice, 1982 and 1986. And who can beat that? Nobody. Her start is not rocket-like, but when she gets moving, that is where you can see the kind of attraction that drew many fans. Because when she is in full motion, in full stride, it's like a gazelle, it's like an antelope. And then the finish, the finish of course a shorter stride, but the momentum is carried forward. Well, kasi ako pag nag-compete, masyado akong focus sa competition sa'yo. So, uh, wala akong iniisip na other things, basta yung sa akin lang, uh, kailangan yung competition ko, ma magawa ko ng mabuti, makapag-deliver ako for the country, makapanalo ko ng medalya. So, nothing else uh, going through to my mind. Habang lumalaban siya para sa Pilipinas sa mga international games, tumatakbo pa rin sa UAAP ang sprinter na may dugong tama raw. De Vega was already enrolled at FEU. And that drew the attention of many people. And that is why many people would always watch De Vega when she runs. Pero para kay Lydia, 
ang pagtungtong niya sa 1984 at 1988 Olympics ang katuparan ng kanyang mga pangarap bilang atleta. So, uh, experience sa Olympics, yun yung pinakagapi. Kasi pag sinabi, di ba, pag you are already in the Olympics, parang isa ka na sa mga um, winners. Kasi not everybody can go all the way eh, sa Olympics. And then, being a part of it is isa malaki ng karangalan. Lydia's rise to fame paved the way for more talented sprinters, tulad nina Elma Muros at Isidro Del Prado. Alam namin, and naniniwala ako na marami pang susunod sa mga yapak namin. And I'm hoping na itong mga new generation ay mas magiging magaling kesa sa amin. Mabuhay kay lahat! Maraming salamat po! That kind of leadership, that kind of uh, physical energy that he brought for a big man. At that time, there were very few 6'1 who can move like that. Never say die. This fighting spirit was seen all throughout his five decades in basketball. Oh, that's the experience of the big J. Mula sa UAAP hanggang sa PBA, nagpamalas ng great leadership ang nag-iisang Robert Jaworski. Hindi siya basta legend, living legend. I think he is beyond an athlete. He transcends so many things and he represents probably the values of what a Filipino athlete would want to emulate. Nagsimulang umingay ang pangalan ni Jaworski sa UAAP nang maglaro sa UA Red Warriors under coach Baby Dalupan. Bahagi siya ng three straight championships ng Koponan mula 1965 to 1967. Mula sa UAAP, nakabilang si Robert Jaworski sa national team na nag-uwi ng karangalan sa Pilipinas noong 1970s sa FIBA Asian Championships at Asian Games. Lumaban sa Olympics. Jaworski, saving it! Hindi na rin mabilang ang dami ng mga naipanalo niyang championships sa PBA kasama ang kopo ng Toyota at Hinebra. Phenomenal yan kasi he's the first player na umabot ng 40 years old na naglalaro sa PBA ha. So nakikipagbanggaan siya with players maybe half his age. He may be tough on the hard court, pero wala namang kasing lambot ang puso ni Jawo pagdating sa kanyang mga fans. Isang magpunta, tatauhin. Maski gano'ng katagal mong lapitan para kausapin o magpapirma, he will give you time. He is uh, very nice to his followers. Wala pang social media noon. At napakagalang pagkausap. Jaworski's first attempt on the evening is good! Sorry, Jaworski! Patuloy na nagsisilbing inspirasyon si Robert Jaworski sa mga nangangarap na lumaban at maging great athletes ng UAAP. Uh, we're just thankful and... Uh... Obviously, the support extended to us by the fans is truly a great factor in our resurgence. Isa sa mga parangal na ibinibigay ng universidad para sa kanilang pinakamauhusay na malalaro ay ang pagretiro ng jersey. At kapag retired na ang kanilang numero, ay hindi na ulit ito pwedeng gamitin ng kahit na sino mang atleta ang maglalaro para sa team. Sa De La Salle University, kahanay ng mga legendary basketball players na may retired jerseys, si Renren the Rainman Gritualo. Retired din ang jersey ni Manila Santos isa sa pinakamagagaling na Lady Spikers. Sa Far Eastern University, naritiro din ang jersey ng Queen Tamarao na si Rachel Ann Dacquis. Katabi ng kanyang jersey na nakasabit sa FU Gym, ang mga jerseys ng dalawa sa pinakamahusay na King Tamaraos of the respective generations. Ang jersey ni Arwen the Spider-Man Santos at ni Johnny the Flying A Abarientos. The heart of a champion never gives up. Walang atrasan, walang sisuko. You have to fight for greatness. Asa tin din ang labanan para sa isang UAP championship. Sa saksayan natin ang kakaibang tapang na mga kupunan upang magtagumpay. Just like him.
13-point lead. Kobutin. And a bang and in the bucket. An exclamation point for the graduating student at National University. It's a 60-year drought. And a made it. 2014, a very memorable year for National University. Nasongkit ng NU Bulldogs ang kanilang kauna-unahang basketball championship matapos ang anim na pung taon. Every time na ma-remember namin yun, talagang fresh pa rin sa utak namin yung mga nangyari. Until now, parang goosebumps yung nararamdaman namin. Yung speechless moments, tapos yung parang pag tinatawag ka, nasa heaven ka, parang cloud nine ka talagang. I think it started with getting a new coach. And I think that was Eric Altamirano. And I know how he works. I know how he does all the preparatory work from recruitment to making sure that the players are uh, in their proper state of mind, that they are well motivated, also well taken care of. 1954, nang huling masungkit ng Bulldogs ang corona. Pero bago pa man makuha ang inaasam na kampiyonato, butas ng karayom ang pinagdaanan ng kuponan ni Coach Eric Altamirano. We were the team that they beat in the Final Four. I was with Ateneo during that time. Very rare do you find a top-seeded team being beaten by a fourth-seeded squad with, a, with the top team having a twice to beat uh, advantage. But they were able to overcome that. Sanio, Betayene. Oh, what a pass! Wow. And then in the finals again, nilabot din ng full round yung series nila. So, uh, did I see it coming? Siyempre, we wanted to win, but when we, they got past us, I had a feeling that they would go all the way. Give it up for the National University Bulldogs! The celebration was very memorable because it was raw, it was very sincere, it was heartfelt. At naramdaman mo from the players to the coaches to the fans. And I think, sa totoo lang, a lot of people who are not from FU or NU rooted for them. Classic underdog. Sabi nga nila, puro do or die na kami, pero ito pa rin, buhay kami, and then nakuha namin yung champion. At saka maraming magagandang individual na kwento, families being reunited, nanay na nakapanood ng anak for the first time in a championship. You know, there's so many human drama stories, human angle stories, that was way beyond the game of basketball, that made the championship sweeter. Here's Kadya, he's got some space here as the defender goes down. Lining this shot up! Oh, James saves it, but it's a rebound and a goal! Para sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, Season 78 was both an emotional and inspiring year for the football team. Inuwi nila sa Diliman ang men's and women's championship. Palacios could not stop that penalty kick. Unang-una, bihira ang double championship. Bihira ang mangyari. Pangalawa, Merong isang manlalaro noon sa UP na nagkasakit at eventually passed away in the middle of the season and he became the battle cry of the team. One away, Gadya, streaking down the middle, still with him. Nila, nung nanalo, parang he was watching over the rest of the Maroons in their quest to win after quite a while dahil nandiyan ang FBU, nandiyan ang Lasal, Nandiyan ang Ateneo, ang mga teams na mahirap tuloy. Para naman sa kababaihan, hindi naman nananalo parati ang UP women's football team. Roji Maglinas served as the inspiration of the players to fight and continue the team's journey all the way to the finals. Corner for UP. Into the hands. Flicked it in. Header. And a beautiful header by Santa Clara. The Fighting Maroons brought home the first ever football crown for the women's division. UP is our new women's football champion. The dart was down. Oh, nice ball too. Again, Miyagi with the hat trick. And the fourth title for the men's division. At sa likod ng kampiyonato ito, ay ang isa sa pinakakilalang coach sa liga. The demeanor that he has impacted on the players. Very good mentor, very able teacher technically sound, at saka knows the landscape, eh, knows the battleground. Eh. Yes, it was all for Roji. Motivated yung players ng UP sa kanya. Coach Anto, of course, he's like a elder brother leading them on and share, sharing, more than anything, sharing in their experience. Eh. 
giving them the motivation or empowering them to be the very best of who or what they can be. Napakatamis ng tagumpay ang nakamit ng University of the East sa men's lawn tennis noong season 79. Ito ang first ever UAP title ng Koponan na pinangungunahan ng isa sa pinakabatang player ng Red Warriors, si AJ Lim Jr. Sometimes all it takes is a special player to change the course of uh, your campaign. And AJ Lim is not an ordinary player. Siya ang future ng tennis sa bansa natin. I don't think that someone can come close to AJ Lim on, on this level. Pero matagal na expose yung batang yan. Yung, yung sa nakikita mo ngayon is just um, a culmination of what he was able to prepare for. Matagal na sa iba-ibang uh, international competition. The Red Warriors were able to dominate the game, pulling off a perfect win for the singles and doubles competition. And for the league's most valuable player, it was a memorable experience for him. First ever championship din po kasi ng team yun sa UAAP, sa tennis. So talagang napaka-importante po ng championship na yun. Gusto ko makuha po namin yung title. Yun po talaga yung main goal namin nun. Ateneo versus De La Salle, Game 4! Heartstrong wins. Ito ang pinatunayan ng Season 76 Volleyball Champions na Ateneo Lady Eagles. The Lady Eagles and champions. You know, talaga yung Matapos masungkit ang Corona after ng Do or Die series kontra Lady Spikers. Grabe. First time ko yung face ko talaga. I'm not smiling anymore. I was just like focusing on that moment. Parang sobrang bagal talaga ng oras. Nung parang sa last point, parang ang oh, bagal ng bola. Parang, oh my God, ito na siguro yun. By Reyes. Back to Valdez. Valdez. And that's it! Oh! Ateneo has done it! They make history! What a win! They give their school their first ever UAP volleyball crowd. A massive win for the Lady Eagles matapos ang mundugong tries to beat advantage sa finals. They were dang nasal. I think that was the year that they swept uh, the elimination round. But in the finals, it was a different story. And this is a picture of celebration. Nanguna si Eliza Valdez sa kampanya para masungkit ng Ateneo ang kampiyonato. I think do nag start yung legend ni Eliza. Parang she came out of nowhere. Not, not literally, but when they needed strength, she was there to provide it for them. Less talk, more work. Ito naman ang naging bentahe ng Lady Eagles coach na si Tai Bundit. Coach Tai came in, changed how they played, how they practiced, and how they thought about the game. The meditation, the heart strong, the play happy, minimal coaching, more of really you deal with the situation on your own. Hindi may kakailang isa ito sa pinaka-pinagkaguluhan, pinilahan, at inabangan na tapatan sa kasaysayan ng UAAP Volleyball. I think the fans were the big winners. I think the fans really connected to Coach Tai, you know, to the players. Para makapag-attract ng ganong karaming following, hindi lang sa isang laro, kundi sa buong, buong taon. At mula noon hanggang ngayon. At para malagyan ng kaba yung kalaban dahil nandun siya, bihira yun. At saka hindi madaling talunin ng lasal. Lady Eagles of your season 78 UAAP the finals! Yellow fires, scores! Matapos ang isang dekadang paghihintay, ang mailap na tropeo ay nahawakan muli ng FEU Tamaraos. 2015, nang muling naiuwi sa Moraita ang kampiyonato para sa men's basketball. Bakit ang tagal, uh, sandwich between that uh, tenure drought was the wins by Lasal and the five feet of Ateneo. 
Here comes Bologna. Bologna gets now. Bologna will score. At nang pumasok ang Season 78 ng UAAP, hindi na nagpatumpik-tumpik pa ang Tama Raus. Talented players, great teamwork, and right timing. Ito ang naging formula ng Tama Raus para sa inaasam na kampiyonato. Nag-stick lang kami together, uh, one page. So talagang pinagtrabawa namin as a team. Walang individual, yun yung factor talaga na nakuha namin yung championship. And the FU Tavaraus will redeem themselves by a champions of season 7-8-2. They had all the ingredients to win. Marami din silang game na nilaro that season na muntik-muntikan sila eh. Pero tingin ko bukod sa tunay na galing ng team na yun, Destined din talaga si Natunin. Lamang sa serye, natalo, nasaktan. Pero siyempre, bumalik, gumaling. FU has such a winning tradition. So they know how to bounce back as an institution, as a school, as a team. Basketball champions, your Far Eastern University, Tamara! As we celebrate the great history of the UAAP, we also anticipate another great chapter for the league. Muling magaharap ang mga palaban na kupunan mula sa walong universities at matinding aksyon ang ating aabangan mga kapamilya. Let's defy, let's conquer, and be the greatest that we can be. Simula niya ng Season 80, the UAAP legacy lives on. Go for great! Go for great!